All right, welcome to 5280 Skywatch Photography. Um, <clears throat> right, so you guys see this chick right here? The name of her channel is Squirrel Tribe. I'm not sure why, what that's all about, but um, she seems like a nice enough chick and all, but, and I'm not dogging or anything, but what I am going to talk about, well, I'm going to let you guys hear what she's got to say. And what this, this chick is doing is getting all riled up with the incidents of this world. And she seems to think that like her life may be in danger for talking about these stupid incidents that they want her talking about. <laughs> so, lady, if you end up seeing this video, please don't worry about uh, your life being in danger by spreading information that they want you to spread. You are what well, here, here, let's put it like this. There are, there is a truth community and 98% of the truth community has nothing to do with the truth. And 90% of the people in the truth community that think they know the truth do not know the truth, even though they think they do. There is a level that someone needs to be on in order to know the actual truth and be able to even understand it. The, the true gift of discernment is not given to many, even though many think they have it. Not that I'm a know-it-all, not that I'm better than anybody. It's just the way it is. It's just the truth. And the people that know what I'm talking about, the people that understand me, uh, and I understand them, we know when someone actually is a truther, if that's what you want to call it. If you are in the club, you are known. We, others can tell that you're in the club. If you are not, the ones that are can tell that you are not. And I'm going to make a perfect example of this person. This is a person who is not a bad person. This is just a person who is stuck on in this world. And so I would call this person a conspiracy theorist. Not that the things that she is talking about are conspiracies, but are. It's just that she's stuck on stupid with the stories that they want her to be stuck on. She makes videos about incidents and situations that they want her to make videos about and she doesn't even understand it. 180, like 180 degree flip and offering money for clean energy companies. Y'all, you ready? Okay. Biden offers $450 million for clean energy projects at coal mines. Blah, this blah, is Biden blah. standing on a stage, thankfully not nope. falling off of it. Um, I don't know how he shuffled up the stairs. There's no ice cream in this one, but there's Biden on the stage. This is, listen, y'all, this is, this came out this morning. So yeah. president Joe Biden's administration is making $450 million available for solar farms and other clean energy projects across the country at the site of current or former coal mines part of his efforts to combat climate change. As many as five projects nationwide will be funded through the 2021 infrastructure law with at least two projects set aside for solar farms, the White House said on Tuesday. Now, I would also like to point out that the first initial um, speech about this was in July of last year. Maybe not the first initial speech, but this picture is from July 2022. It's from last year, okay? Ooh. Plenty of time for somebody to hear this and start making plans. Pay attention. Okay, listen. <laughs> the White House also said it will allow developers of clean energy projects to take advantage of billions of dollars in new bonuses being offered in addition to investment and production tax credits available through the 2020. Do you hear this nonsense that she's just 
getting so about <laughs> like she's so about it she's so stuck on what she's reading and the things that are being fed to her that she, instead of you all right dude jeez you sneezing can you, you stop sneezing you all right buddy jeez you all right dude she is so stuck on the world and getting so emotionally involved in this nonsense. And you do not want to be one of these people. 22, Inflation Reduction Act. The bonuses will incentivize more clean energy investment in energy communities, particularly coal communities, that have been hurt by a decade plus decline in U.S. coal production, the White House said. The actions are among steps the Biden administration is taking as the Democratic president moves. The White House said. To convert the U.S. economy <laughs> to renewable energy, such as wind and solar power, while turning away from coal and other fossil fuels that produce planet warming greenhouse gas emissions. It's just funny. They just approved the Willow Project over there at the same time coming over here and going, we need cleaner air. So <laughs> whatever. But pay attention here. The projects are modeled on a site Biden visited you know last I can't even listen to this. And, you know, people watch this chick's videos. She does like 30 minute to hour long videos at least once a day. And people sit here and listen to this shit. Like, I hope that the people that watch my videos are beyond this garbage. I don't know if you guys all remember the that, 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 that crazy chick that was telling me that I was an idiot and out of my mind and that I don't know what I'm talking about. And she was reading that book about, uh, how the president isn't, doesn't call the shots and he's just a puppet. And she starts talking about the Rothschilds and, and, and this and that, that's the same kind of shit. It's just, it's just garbage that they want people like this and everybody to believe. This nonsense that you have no control over and just getting all upset about this dumb shit that you can't do anything about and you're getting mad because all, all of these train wrecks. Well, first of all, this is how this chick like all got started was with these train wrecks and stuff. They say that 17 on average, 1700 tra uh, trains derail a year. That's, and I think somebody broke it down. That's like four or six a day. So you're surprised when they report on a train derailment when they happen that often. I mean, come on. And if, and then, and then when they know that everybody wants to give their attention to these trail der, train derailments, well, what do they feed them? They keep feeding them more train derailments because then they're getting their attention. They're, they're, they know that's what they want to watch. Oh, 30 million people clicked on this train derailment story. Oh, well, let's give them 10 more. And here's one out of that 30 million right here. And she thinks that she's, she's so stuck on it that she thinks when she speaks on it, they're going to kill her and her family. <laughs> here, let me back it up a little. Be drilled up. I don't know the phrasing here. Once you find the oil and, and pull it up, whatever. Um, Hold on. What what's gonna happen up in a few minutes? And I'm I'm losing my shit over here. Just so we know, uh, it appears several businesses may have been affected by the fire. We already did this. Uh, a spokesperson I have found and put together, in my opinion, is criminal, um, <laughs> and and is either something that really needs to be looked into or something that's going to get me in a lot of trouble. It's one it's I mean technically it's both. It needs to be looked into because if this is if this is accurate, if this is if what I think I have come across is accurate. Um <laughs> y'all the threats I've already gotten they're they're about to just blow through the roof. All I have to say is this is this is this is crazy. So I've said over the past um, couple months 
that we're going to talk about East Palestine, Ohio in just a minute. But first, we're going to start off with something in Pennsylvania. But what I have said for the past couple of months is do not take your eye off what is happening over here. No matter what else is happening over here. Shh, did you hear what she said? She's doing exactly what they want her to do. Keep your eye over here so your eye is not on the ball. The ball, what is the ball? The ball is the truth. And she is so whacked out and off of the truth. It's not even funny because she's paying attention to this garbage. And not only is she paying attention to it, she's feeding it to everybody else that wants to be fed it. <sighs> Sad to say, but I just have to point this out just in case there's somebody like this watching my videos. You do not want to be this. You do not. What is going on here? You do not want to be this, okay? You do not want to be that, trust me. And most people that watch my videos already know this, but I just have to point this shit out. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll probably make another video tonight uh, because I'm in the mood. Um, and I hope that this chick, whatever your name is, uh, Squirrel Tribe, I hope that, uh, oh geez, I hope that uh, for some strange reason you read my comments and you click on my video. I'm actually going to drop this video in your comments and see if you catch it because you need to stop. That's just my opinion, but I think I give great advice. Until next time, y'all.